So in this video, I wanted to take a quick look at one of the new features in Studio One version 6.2, and that is the ability to filter by scale in terms of your colors. Now, generally speaking, when I use instrument parts or I work with MIDI, I generally leave this to the part. So the actual node events that get drawn equal or match the part color. But I wanted to check out this new function, which is right over here. But first of all, I've just kind of mocked up something using the quarter and the arpeggiator. Let's have a quick listen. <laughs> Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna render this down so that it becomes actual MIDI that we can work with and edit, as if though I was good enough to perform it that way. The interesting thing about this feature is I was trying to take a look at it and see where I might use it. Generally speaking, um, I don't always enter the key of the music that I'm working with, and I definitely don't always work with this scale mode in the instrument editor in terms of when I'm editing my note events or my instrument parts. But I wanted to take a look at this just to see how it worked. And the interesting thing is, initially, when I played this performance, I dragged the chords, I dragged the instrument part to the chord track before I rendered this down, right before I started recording this video. And this is the chords that it brought up. Now, instead of trying to figure out the key of the song in an appropriate scale, I just started making some adjustments here in terms of working with A major versus I can tell that these are minor. The interesting thing is that it gave me these results where I had these red um, note events over here that are showing me that I'm outside of the scale. But the cool thing is that I use this in kind of an unconventional way, being that instead of taking this and trying to find a scale that matches, I just said, okay, well, what happens if I took these events and I put them down somewhere where it was in key? So I'm going to just move these up, basically just getting rid of the red parts. Now take a listen to this. If I undo and go back to my original performance, so the interesting thing with this feature is that what I would probably be tempted to do would be to bring these down to A major or bring these notes back in the A major scale. And then I might loop this out and start working with it like this. And then I could build a whole track around this. So that's kind of an unconventional use case, but in terms of, is it useful? Yeah, if you're working in a key of a song and you wanna work in an appropriate scale and you wanna pencil some notes in, or you're drawing something in or you've performed something and you need a quick visual indication that something is out of that scale, for sure. Also as a writing tool where you just choose a scale, lay down something, in this case I just used the quarter and the arpeggiator, and then I just started to move the notes that weren't in the scale until they were, and I came up with something completely different. So, is it useful? Yeah, it is useful, because anything that can take us out of our element, break some patterns, and get us to try new ideas, I call them happy accidents, it's a useful feature. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.